Hi, this is Jonathan at Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom post types for your WordPress site without having to write any code, and then how to list the data in a searchable table on the front end of your website. Now, a custom post type is just a way to add different types of information to your WordPress site, but manage it separately from your regular pages and posts. To do this, I'm going to be using two plugins. Pods, which is free for creating the custom post type, and Post Table Pro from Barn2 for listing the data in an easy to navigate table. Links to download both the plugins are in the description below. Let's start by creating a custom post type with pods. Now, if you need to install the plugin pods, just go to Plugins in the dashboard, Add New, Upload Plugin, and choose the zip file you downloaded. The link is in the description below. Once it's uploaded, find it in your plugins and activate. Now with pods installed, you'll have a new item in the admin dashboard called pods admin. And it's here that you can create and edit custom post types. So to add a new custom post type, I'm going to click add new and then create new. And then here I'm going to create a custom post type. And for this example, I'm going to create a custom post type to manage some business articles. So for my singular label, I'm going to use article and then articles for the plural. And there, we've created a new custom post type. And on this page, I can actually add fields. But for now, I'm going to click the Advanced Options tab and come down to the Supports and Built-in Taxonomy sections. And it's here I can click any extra fields I want. Once done, click Save Pod to update my changes. Now, back in the WordPress admin, you'll see I now have a new custom post type item called Articles. And I can start adding data to it by clicking Add New. And you can see I have the standard fields to fill out like title and description. Now, there might well be custom fields I need to add to my article's custom post type. For example, I might want to add a unique reference number custom field. And you might also want to add extra taxonomies for data you want your users to be able to sort and filter by on your website. To do this, I'm going to go back to pods in the admin and edit pods, and then edit my articles pod. Here under Manage Fields, I can edit and add custom fields to my custom post type. So let's add a reference number custom field by adding field and then filling out the form here like so. Save my field and then save the pod. Now if I go back to the admin and create a new article, there you can see I now have an extra field to fill out called reference number. Let's also create a custom taxonomy. So back to the pods admin in the dashboard, add new, create new, and this time select create custom taxonomy. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine country and then countries. Click next step. And all I'm going to do here is go to the advanced options, scroll down to where it says associated post types. And here, I can select the custom post type articles I created earlier. Save my pod, and I've created a custom taxonomy for my new articles custom post type. Now I can add data to my custom post type by adding a new articles post. And there you can see I have my new taxonomy called country listed on the right, just like the WordPress categories. And I can add some data to it in the normal way. You can also bulk import data into the new post type using a plugin like WP All Import. And you can even allow customers to directly submit information using the plugin Gravity Forms. And you'll find a link to a video on how to do this in the description below. You can also edit and restructure your custom taxonomies centrally from the admin by hovering over the related custom post type and then click on the custom taxonomy like so and then I can easily edit and rearrange the data. OK, so that's a look at how to create a custom post type and a custom taxonomy with pods and how to add data. What we need to do now is find a way to display that data on the front end, i.e. on your website. 
Pods is brilliant for creating custom post types and taxonomies. Things get a little harder when you want to display the data. And without a plugin, you're going to have to code something. So, to make things easy and avoid any coding, I'm going to use the Posts Table Pro plugin from Barn2 to create a searchable, sortable table with filters to display the data. Now, you'll find a link to download the plugin in the description below. To install it, just go to Plugins in the dashboard, Add New, Upload Plugin, and choose the zip file you downloaded. Once it has uploaded, find it in your plugins and activate it. Click on Settings, enter and activate your license key, and you're good to go. Let's take a look at the settings in Posts Table Pro. To display a table populated with data from a new custom post type, all I need to do is select the desired custom post type here. Mine was called Articles. Remember, there's also a shortcode option you can use to display different post types wherever you need on your website. Perfect if you're creating multiple types of data. And then here, we can choose which columns of information we want to display in our table. Remember, we can display data from any of the fields, including custom fields. In mine here, I'm just displaying the title of the article, an excerpt, and the relative language or country for the article. And there are lots of options for governing how the table is sorted and searched with filter dropdowns, including any custom taxonomies like I have here. Once you've made your changes, remember to save them at the bottom of the page for them to take effect. Now, if I refresh the simple example page where I have my table, I now have an easy to navigate and sort table with all the relevant data clearly available. OK, so that's been a look at how to create and display WordPress custom post types using the plugins Pods and the Barn2 plugin Posts Table Pro. Links to download both plugins, as well as a detailed written tutorial, are in the description below. Thanks for watching.